Now this is the easiest to make turmeric body butter you can make. And of course you have to know how to make turmeric oil first. And I will tell you what the other videos didn't tell you. Thank you for joining me today at Family Guide to Herbs Online School. I'm Carolyn Gibson, family herbalist, organic farmer, massage therapist, and I will be your instructor and guide today. Okay, for a, for a super moisturizer that also lightens the skin, takes away dark spots, and just makes your, glim, your skin glow, is this Body Butter made with turmeric. Now first you're going to have to make some turmeric infused oil. Turmeric is oil soluble so its properties are easily absorbed. Now I have more videos on making infused herbal oils and I will leave a link in the description bar for you. When I'm ready to make my infused oils and if I'm using dried herbs I like to use my yogurt maker. Now if I was using fresh, fresh herbs I would either do it on a stove top or I would do it in my crock pot. But this yogurt maker is just perfect. And I'm just needing to make some small amounts. So I'm going to start out with, these are the little containers that come with it. If I wanted to make a larger amount, I would use some half pint jars or even some pint jars. But first I want to make some uh, turmeric uh, oil. And this is just turmeric from the grocery store. I'm going to use one tablespoon of the turmeric. And then I'm going to use five tablespoons of grapeseed oil because I'm going to have this in my skincare. Now, if I was going to do like a salve or a medical ointment, then I would probably use olive oil. But because this is skincare, I'm using grapeseed oil. I'm just being real, real uh, scientific about it. Now, I also want to make some orange oil. So I'm using just some dried orange peel from the grocery store. And this 1 to 5 is pretty much a typical ratio that you would use uh, making infused oils, especially uh, when you're doing just a, a small amount. Okay, I'm ready to give these a good stir. Now both of these are roots and peelings. And this yogurt maker is probably, they're going to probably get up to 120 degrees. I need to be especially careful with my turmeric because it turns everything yellow. So let me get my turmeric stirred up there. And here's my orange peel. Set this in, in the yogurt maker. I'm going to pl plug it up and I'm going to let it sit for a minimum of five to six hours and I may even do it overnight is okay. So we'll come back in five or six hours and see how it looks. Okay, it's been about six hours and I am ready to strain this. I've taken it out, out of the yogurt maker. Now I'm ready to strain this. Now because I used a powder, it's going to be a little harder to strain than if I had used cut and sifted. But there's my turmeric. Okay, so here I've got my turmeric oil. I'm going to put my lid on it. Now, I've, I've made up a label for it. I've got turmeric. I was told that I've got grapeseed oil and the date that I made it. Now, if I was going to store this for any length of time, I'd go ahead and put vitamin E in it to help keep it from going rancid. But I'm going to be using this the next few days. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, and the product that I make from it, I will put the vitamin E in that. So here, here we have our orange peel, and I also have this mark. So now I've got orange peel with a grapeseed oil in today's date. And later on we'll come back and I'll show you how to make some body butter with this uh, turmeric uh, butter, uh, turmeric oil and the uh, orange oil. So we're starting out with our shea butter, and this is at room temperature. This is not going to work if it's not at room temperature. And adding our uh, turmeric oil. Now I'm using grapeseed oil because I, I like that for the skin. And then it's just a matter of mixing it up with the mixer. 
Licorice root is another one of those herbs that is used to help light and dark spots. Licorice root is not oil soluble, it is water soluble. And to add licorice root to this mixture, you need either a licorice root glycerin or a licorice root alcohol tincture. Uh, these herbs do not work by bleaching the skin like lime juice or lemon juice. Licorice root contains compounds that slow down the production of darker pigments and lessens hyperpigmentation. Now, both turmeric and licorice root will take at least three weeks to work, but most likely it's going to take six to eight weeks for you to really see the results. And yes, you have to keep using it. Mix this till it's nice and fluffy. So now I'm going to be adding my vitamin E. I'm going to be adding some licorice root glycerin. Now this is what we made in another video, but you can certainly buy your own. We'll be adding our essential oil. I have chose to use lavender and some tapioca flour uh, to keep it from feeling so greasy. Now, uh, I'll add these in one at a time and whip it each time after I add it. Okay, after, after I added the licorice root, glycerin, I beat it really well. After I added the vitamin E, I whipped it up. After adding the lavender essential oil, I whipped it up. And then after adding the tapioca flour, I whipped it up. And then I whipped it for an additional five minutes. Now, I'm not going to torture you with the sound of the beaters going on this metal table. But now I'm through. Now, you see how rich and creamy this is. Now, just, just look how creamy that is. Now, the thing you said about body butter does not hold up to the heat. So, if you're in a you cannot store this in a room of your house that is not air conditioned. Don't travel with it in the car because it is going to melt and separate. Now don't try to mail it to friends in the summertime because it's going to melt and separate. Which doesn't mean it's ruined, but you will have to whip it again. But this will just, and this is really, a body butter is really for most people too heavy to put on the face and it's usually put on the rest of the body. And this yellow color is what you get from the turmeric. Now you have to be really careful when working with turmeric because it stains everything yellow. In fact, it was once used as a dye. Now turmeric mixed into other oils in small quantities will not be as big of a problem. So be sure to let it completely dry before wearing clothes over it. Keep this in mind and don't wear your favorite expensive clothing. Thank you for joining me today. Now, if you wish to see more of these videos, like and subscribe to our channel. Leave me comments in, uh, in the comments section. Now, uh, for the last 30 years, all of our income has come off our organic farm here in East Texas. We're 100 miles from Dallas, and our little community of 400 still considers chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, and gravy a health food. And they just do not understand our lifestyle. They still laugh at what we are doing, especially since our main crop is wheatgrass, which you know, they really have no idea what that is. We need your support by subscribing and liking our channel. And be sure and visit me at FamilyGuideToHerbs.com, your guide to natural homemade remedies. Thank you so much.